Let's say you have the choice to buy an asset. It can pay out $50 or $20 each with 50% probability. How much would you pay for such an asset? Well, like most people, it will probably take the expected value. Now, let's say it has a 50% chance of paying you $5,000. The expected value is then really high. If you're a broke college student, you probably don't have that much money, so you're probably not going to pay that much. Furthermore, let's say that there exists a bank such that if you put some money in it, you will gain some interest. Would you still pay that much for an asset if you can make some extra money just by putting it in the bank? This is the problem of using expected values of real life probabilities to price different assets, since people have different risk preferences and interest rates make things complicated. So how do we actually price different assets such that the price is actually fair? Well first we have to define what fair means. We define fair to mean no arbitrage. Now we need to define arbitrage. We define an arbitrage opportunity as some strategy, such that starting off with zero money, you're guaranteed to not lose money, and there's some probability that you make some profit. In other words, you are making riskless profit. Let me give an example. Let's say we have two different assets whose payouts fully depend on a single coin toss. The payouts and the prices are listed here. Now notice what happens if we buy 6 of the first asset and short 5 of the second asset. We make $25 if we flip heads, and we make no loss if we flip tails. This entire strategy costs $0. Hence, this is an arbitrage opportunity, or in other words, there exists arbitrage in this market. Let's do a quick recap of what probability measures are. They're literally just a mapping of outcomes to different numbers. We can map heads and tails to 0.5 and 0.5, we can map them to 0.2 and 0.8, or any number between 0 and 1, as long as they add up to 1 in total. Now we introduce the idea of risk-neutral probability measures. They're basically a very specific mapping of outcomes. We basically have to map heads and tails to specific numbers such that for every single asset, it satisfies this formula that we see here. So what does this formula mean? Well, it kind of looks like an expected value. We basically say that the initial price has to be somewhere between the payouts, and we do need to discount it back since the value of assets increase over time due to an interest rate. So let's see risk neutral probabilities in practice. Let's bring back our two assets, except for the second asset, we're going to say that we don't know the price. In fact, we want to find a price for the second asset such that there is no arbitrage. Furthermore, let's assume that the interest rate is 0.2. Plugging in the payouts as well as the price, using the fact that there are only two different payouts, we get our risk neutral probability measures. These are not likelihoods. We are not saying that the probability of getting heads is one third and the probability of tails is two thirds. We are just simply mapping heads and tails to one third and two thirds. Now, we have all of the information that we need to price the second asset. We simply just plug in all of our numbers and that gives us the price. If we did everything correctly, when we put the two assets back together, there is no way to create arbitrage. You can try the same strategy as before, where you try to make some sort of strategy with price zero, you are not going to get the same result. Let's say you buy some amount of the first asset such that some of the payouts match, you're still not going to be able to find an arbitrage strategy. So what does this mean? That means for any other asset in this market, as long as you give me the payouts, I have my risk neutral probabilities and interest rate, I can tell you exactly what the price is to have no arbitrage. And that is the main idea of risk neutral probabilities.